In this brief tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to create cPanel accounts inside of WHM. Inside of WHM, on the left hand side menu options, scroll down until you see the account functions area. Here you can select the create a new account option. You will need to provide a primary domain name for this account. Here we'll create an account for a fictitious domain name called example.com. When we click on the next field, WHM is automatically going to allow um, WHM is automatically going to suggest for us a username to use with this account. We can either leave it as is or we can modify it to anything we want. We will need to provide a password. If the passwords match, you will see a little green check mark on the right hand side of the fields. This graphic tells you how strong the security on your password is. If you'd like to generate a highly secure password, you can use the random password generator button on this side and WHM will suggest a highly complicated and secure password to use on your account. We will also need to provide an email address to use as the primary contact address for this account. And finally, the most important part of creating a cPanel account inside of WHM is choosing a package. From this pull down menu, we will select one of our previously designed packages. In this case, I'm going to select the copper plan. Notice that when I hover my mouse over this little icon, I can see the various features that come with this particular plan. For example, this plan comes with 10,000 megabytes of bandwidth, it has CGI access enabled, it already comes with the X3 cPanel theme, it uses the default feature list, and it has a quota of 100 megabytes the last thing we really need to do is scroll down to the bottom until we see the create button. We press the button and our account is created. Here we can see a summary of the account creation process including the IP address of the server where it's installed the domain name, the username, the password that we used, as well as the name servers that we should use when directing the domain name that's going to be used as the primary domain into this account. Congratulations, you now know how to create cPanel accounts inside of WHM.